cover reveal. That's right, Jurassic World Dominion baby. Oh, she cute. This little baby will be available in Barnes and & Noble and specialty and comic shops this coming week, but you can get it right now in our very own online shop. The lighting is not great on that stick. Blowing it out, but yeah, there you go. What? You guys want to see my favorite guy? Bam! Jazz hands, as Alyssa likes to say, which is a perfect moniker for this guy. And Jason cosplaying as jazz hands. Ta-da! Very exciting stuff. We've also got a brand new interview with Elvira over on the website discussing her new comic, The Death of Elvira, along with writer David Avalon, wise words from the Mistress of the Dark, nothing in life is certain except chodes and taxes. If I gave you any sort of context, what fun would that be? Check out the interview over on the website along with a sneak peek at some of the comic book pages in the video. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, is back on Broadway, and to celebrate, we invited musical monster-loving Graham Skipper to discuss some other great horror musicals throughout history. Graham dives into such classics as Reanimator, Evil Dead the Musical, and The Fly. Speaking of musicals, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis mentioned on Twitter that Halloween Kills is going to make some people very, very angry. Now, I'm personally hoping that means that this third installment is a musical. I don't know, what are your guys' guesses on that? What could possibly make fans very, very angry? They just better not kill Lori. That is unacceptable. Anything else? We'll see, but you can't kill Lori Strode. We are about halfway through Shudder's halfway to Halloween celebration. Where does the time go? We are celebrating all month long over on the website with eight rare gems you can watch on Shudder right now. Five Reasons Toby Hooper's The Fun House Freaking Rules. And we sent Jason deep into the vault to unearth some subspecies goodies. If you are a subspecies fan, whoo, have we got a cornucopia of treats for you over on the website. Before we sent Jason into the vault, we sent him down into the cellar, where he sat down actually physically with the director and cast of The Cellar, which is out now on Shudder. You can check out that full interview over on the site right now, and you can watch The Cellar on Shudder tonight. And speaking of movies, trailers, trailers, trailers. First, that Cronenberg trailer, what? Crimes of the Future. I have to say, I watched the American edit and I had no idea what was going on. I just knew that I wanted more of it in my eyeballs. Then I watched the French version and somehow maybe loved that one even more. I got a little bit of a hint of the plot, just enough, just a tad, a scotch, if you will. Lots of body horror, it's grotesquely sexy, and it's got the most romantic line that I have been waiting all of my life to hear. You fill me with the desire to cut my face open. And Phil wrote about it over on the site where you can watch both versions and decide for yourselves which one you like better um, because honestly, it's very hard to choose. We've also got a double dose of Robert England goodness. We've got the Stranger Things season four trailer featuring Robert England and a special little treat for Elm Street fans. England reunited with Dawkin for the anniversary of the Dream Warriors on the very first episode of Metal and Monsters. Pretend we cut the Dream Warriors song into this right now. Jason's gonna tell me we can't license it, but you know what? That song lives in our hearts. So we're gonna dance it out for a second. Ready? Dream Warriors and cue it up. Okay, that's good enough. Also, I posted a Twitter poll just to inquire as to what your favorite horror theme song would be. A little friendly match between Alice Cooper and Dokken. Dream Warriors versus He's Back. I knew Dream Warriors was going to win I just did not think that it was going to kick the ass of He's Back so badly. You guys, this was a landslide win. This was 76% of the votes went to Dream Warriors. And you guys, yes, it's a great song, but uh, He's Back slaps. I don't know. I guess I just expected it to be more of a fair fight is all. All right, what to watch this weekend, aside from the stuff that I already mentioned. A few more options for you. Choose or Die is now out on Netflix. Also, maybe the best new show you guys aren't watching yet from on Epics. I was genuinely sucked in from the very first episode. The season I think is wrapping up this week or next, so get caught up. 
I hope you all enjoyed our Cursed Films watch party. We are diving deeper into the world of Cursed Films with the creators of the series, not the curses. We've got that interview coming up soon, so make sure you keep an eye out. The Chainsaw Awards are rapidly approaching. We are working like maniacs behind the scenes to celebrate our favorite creators and our favorite creations of the year and to bring you some really cool shit in the process. I can tell you more about that soon. In the meantime, da -da 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 -da. whoa. I like, I'm like Star Wars scrolling up. I'm on my tiptoes, this is as high as I can go. You can get your 2022 Vancoria Chainsaw t-shirt in our shop right now. I don't know if I can show you the back, but I'm gonna try my darndest. That's as high as I can go. And in case you missed it, we've got an interview with the director and the star of the Irish horror film, You Are Not My Mother. It's great, it has to do with a lot of changelings, there's some cool mythology in that. Check out the movie and check out the interview. I've also had a really hard time saying the title of this one without saying it in a Maury Povich voice, like the results, you know, like, you are not my mother. I don't think that's how it's intended, but that's how we say it around here. That's all I've got for you this week. I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and I will catch you next week for more The Tear Television. Douchebag. I out, I ball out, I out. Just broke, just broke everything. Broke the whole house. Ah, oh, fuck.